Hello and welcome to Blackboard 9.1. Today I'm going to talk to you about Blackboard 9.1 because we are moving to the new system in spring 2012. For the fall 2011, you will have your turn to practice in the Tamish Kosha. Now why we are moving to Blackboard 9.1? Blackboard 9.1 features exciting new social and teaching tools that foster more logical and visually impactful and active learning opportunities for students. Blackboard 9.1 will bring in tools and technology for the students as well as for the instructor which will make designing courses much easier and much impactful in the process of learning. Now when you log into your Blackboard course page, you will see a couple of new things in there. One of the major things you will see here is adding a module or personalizing your page. Now, to personalize your page, it was in the past as well there, but they are more visually right here on the screen. And the great new feature about Black this version of Blackboard is the drag and drop feature. Always remember, Blackboard 9.1, you can move every piece of information from one place to another by simply dragging and dropping. You can click here and just move the content to another location and automatically all the other windows rearranges themselves to fit to your move. Now, once you, uh, once you do that, you can also see some other features uh, here. Uh, and inline tools as well. You can collapse certain things that you don't want to see and you can uh, as well uh, um, completely turn them off. Now you can uh, access your courses right from here as you used to do in Blackboard 8. Let's take a look into a course in Blackboard 9.1. This is how a course looks like for an instructor point of view when you are using Blackboard 9.1. Pay attention at the top. This is called the edit mode. The edit mode is on or off. When the edit mode is off, the view is as same as that of the student except for the control panel section. The edit mode is on. The instructors do not need to edit any of the course section through the control panel but can do inline editing. You will also notice one thing. In the course menu section, you do not see the announcements right embedded as a menu item. Whereas a new feature called home page is there. Under the home page, your announcements will be posted as well as many other notification systems that you can provide to your students to keep them on track. These modules can be customized, again can be moved or interchanged location and you can delete and add new module again by using the add course module or customize, customize page section. And the great feature of new Blackboard 9 is the inline availability of every tool in your hands. The control panel is no longer hidden. It is always at the top, uh, is always on the screen to the uh, left hand side. You can access any of the control panel tools right from, the sec from this area and everything is right there in your hand. It's just a drag and drop. You can also enlarge or hide your navigation pane so that you can see your contents more in details. You can also add new links or pages to your navigation site just from this section rather than going through the control panel in the past. You can also arrange the navigation by dragging and dropping the items uh, anytime you want. If any of your navigation pane do not have a content, you will see this gray box right next to it. And when you turn your edit mode off, that link will disappear since it has no content in it so that the students don't end up clicking that area and finding nothing in that area. So these are in, in small some of the new features in Blackboard. In the following videos, we will explore each and every section inside the Blackboard 9.1 to give you a more detail on how to do uh, in Blackboard 9.1.
hope you will all learn blackboard 9.1 quickly as it is a very easy very intuitive tool to use and we will come up with much better designed online courses thank you